Are you serious? Are you serious? We have a prophecy alert. A prophecy alert. I want to thank Kenny and Penny for this report. But the United Nations Security Council is going to consider the Palestine Resolution. In other words, a forced parting of Israel back to the pre-1967 borders. Uh, draft resolution demanding Israel. We're demanding Israel to withdraw to the 1967 border lines by the year 2016 as part of a wider agreement to end the Israeli-Palestinian conflict. It will be presented to the United Nations Security Council by the middle of December. The Palestinian envoy to the United Nations just said, Palestinian representatives are saying that uh, this resolution is being shepherded by France. Now, France is one of the five permanent members of the United Nations Security Council. France, Britain, United States of America, Russia, and China. Now, it's, France is expected to lay out this time frame for the negotiations on a final peace deal and possibly a second deadline for the Palestinian statehood based on pre-1967 borders. The French are moving more and more and more, trying to bring all the European colleagues together, and I think that eventually they will succeed. The French-led European initiative is expected to be discussed in Brussels today with U.S. Secretary of State John F. Kerry holding talks with European ministers during a NATO meeting. The, the, the position of the United States, which has repeatedly vetoed any UN resolution seen as pressuring Israel, will be crucial in deciding if the latest push at the United Nations stands a chance. Why, are we waffling? What do you mean it's crucial? It should be absolute, already decided, no. No pre-67. But here's why it's not absolute. President Barack Obama, four months into his presidency, uh, said that the United States' position on Israel is a pre 1967 border. Now, I mean, I, what? And the Secretary of State, John F. Kerry, has repeatedly insulted Israel by saying that Israel's too prosperous for peace. If Israel doesn't, if they're not willing to negotiate, European nations will start uh, boycotting doing business with Israel. He has repeatedly poked and poked Netanyahu in the eye. Uh, so why is there even any indication of a potential shift in U.S. policy here? Now, the Bible plainly tells you, you do not want to part the land as it relates to Israel. And because Israel is the apple of God's eye, and you can read that if you want to in Zechariah chapter 2. Uh, but we do know that Jerusalem is going to become a cup of trembling, and a burdensome stone unto all people, and it has, it is. You can read that for yourself in Zechariah 12, verses 1, 2, and 3. You can also read that the Lord seeketh to destroy all nations that come against Israel. Well, that's found in Zechariah 12, verse 9. I mean, so there's a lot here going on uh, that's taking place. They're using U.S. Uh, Secretary General, excuse me, United Nations Secretary General Ben Ki Moon has warned of a possible new violence flare up uh, since we've already had that devastating seven week war, or the 50 day war in Gaza over the summer. So uh, it's getting very intense. This is a prophecy alert. The Bible says the Lord will bless them that bless Israel, but he will curse them that curse Israel. And so it's very important that the United States position remains the same status quo, and that is don't turn your back on Israel now. But I'm very concerned that between the, in the next two years, and do you remember, do you remember, the Lord gave me a word 
and I put it on YouTube, that in the summer of 2016, America would have to make a major decision which way they're going to go. And this would determine the destiny of America. Is this the decision of 2016? I don't know. But I'm praying that America does the right thing. Pray for the peace of Jerusalem. Pray for those that do will prosper. Pray for peace in the Middle East among all mankind and pray that the gospel of Jesus Christ be brought to the whole world. We're running out of time, folks. We're living in the last days. Give your life to Jesus Christ personally because time is running out.